So as we were saying, an electric uh, car battery is um, this energy storage system that holds a uh, charge through um, uh, intercalation process. And um, that charge is either gonna be uh, released from the system with a discharge to go and propel a vehicle, or it's gonna receive a charge to store energy uh, into itself, right? And so the best way to look at uh, that battery system is uh, two layers, one that could represent the nervous system of that battery or the brain of the battery, um, which would be the battery management system, the electronics, the communication channels, as well as uh, the, the other uh, layer, which uh, is responsible for the conduit of that electricity from the cells into the current collector, the bus bars, through the fusing, into the, the inverter and the motor, uh, or the other way, the charger, uh, through high voltage and high current uh, channels. So as the inverter uh, requests uh, a, a certain uh, power, the battery system through the battery management system uh, comes into a negotiation with the uh, inverter and the uh, ECU or the supervisory controller on the vehicle. And uh, as that negotiation is complete, the battery system uh, provides the power or receives the power uh, agreed upon. Now the discharge or the release of that power into the inverter to the motor is uh, what we call a more uh, thermodynamically uh, favored uh, process. Uh, think of it as a waterfall analogy. You have water at a higher level and uh, that uh, energy moves from uh, that higher level into the valley. So that's the thermodynamically preferred state, which is discharging the battery into the motor. That happens pretty much naturally when the circuit is closed. And uh, the other process that is less thermodynamically favorable is uh, charging uh, those batteries. So we're actually putting electrons uh, and moving ions in the battery system to store that electricity on the anode side.